It was an emotional moment in Portsmouth for a family who just lost their loved one this week. More than 100 people uniting in prayer after Jamel Howell was allegedly killed by his stepson. Today, his mom shared a few words about the loss of her son. He was my best friend. He was my baby. And he continued to pray for our family and good friends. The event calling for people to put guns down and support the youth. We can curb violence like this, man, with us, for sure. Daryl Redmond put it all together, hoping to make an impact. He just got out of prison after serving for 20 years. When does this cycle have to stop? So as I said in themselves and understood what was going on, it came to me the realization that when I get out there, I'm going to make a change. He says that change starts with supporting young people, surrounding them with activities and positivity. One thing I believe in is the power to change. And I understand that there's three things it takes to change. You have to change your environment, you have to change your thought, and you have to change your behavior. The event drawing community leaders like Portsmouth Council Member Shannon Glover. We have to, as a community, come together. And we have to be honest with each other about what is going on in our community and share the information. You know, in the community, we know our neighbors. We know where things are happening. And if folks see things that are not right, that are going to cause harm to others, we need to engage and report that to the proper authorities so that everybody can participate in being safe. As a family mourns another life lost to gun violence, people in this community are reaching out and spreading love, hoping things will get better.